Hi, so today I want to go through um, this little tutorial here about how to build a JavaScript um, Slack app with uh, the so-called uh, Bolt uh, library uh, which is offered by Slack. And um, I went through this uh, already at the weekend and um, I had some problems but uh, let's try if I can make it now smooth through the whole process and um, maybe I can outline some problems I had here. Okay, so let's start. Um, so we want to create a Slack app, therefore you go to um, Slack um, API sub subdomain and let's name it bold test and uh, push it to my development space and the app is created so that's what I've done here uh, now I have to refresh and oh it's this one um, now it's about uh, setting uh, the permissions that um, your app and Slack can communicate and um, so let's go here uh, let's maybe do it like this and stay here with uh, the documentation okay so uh, the first thing you have to do here is um, go to the to the scopes and add uh, the ability um, to post messages uh, in here. So there is something called chat. Right. You can read in detail what this is about. So then I will install the app to a workspace. I already selected the workspace and now I get this uh, token. This token I need afterwards. So now in Slack, let's see. There it is. That's now the installed app without any functionality. Okay, so uh, let's get back here. Da -da -da. Yeah, I check these uh, best practices here. By the way, check all the documentation before too. It's really well documented. So now uh, we want to enable App Home. Um, and if I click here, I go where I think App Home is is done here. No, I cannot remember, so I will use the button. Ah, I was right here. Uh, show t Ah, here. Here you want to enable App Home because if you read the documentation, you will. Uh, it's about adding a, a designed home screen for the app. So that's it. So now it gets interesting because now we are switching from this configuration part to uh, having uh, a little bit of JavaScript now. Um, you can run it in Klitsch, which is uh, an online um, in-browser tool to do that stuff. Uh, so you can go here. So these two working close. And now uh, what was here, uh, what was pushed here is uh, a copy of this basic uh, boilerplate of uh, the Slack app. Um, and the interesting part, and here I was stuck last time with uh, subscribing to events. Uh, here, somehow here I was stuck. Um, this we have to set up here. So um, if you want to do the authentication with, with the app, you, you have to set up 
two things, the Slack bot token and the Slack signing secret. And um, let's get these. Uh, I think it was here. Yeah, that's the token, which is uh, generated after installing the app. By the way, I think we can try that later maybe. I think this uh, token is changing every time you reinstall uh, the app and you have uh, during development you have to reinstall the app a lot of times because um, whenever you change something you are forced somehow to push. So if you for example add a slack command then you have to reinstall the app and I think then you get a new token here but maybe we can check that later or you can leave a comment or yeah okay so let's get this one that's the token push it here uh, and the second thing is in so where was that uh, here maybe uh, it's written here also somewhere basic in Mm. Is it there? Or there? Ah, there it is. So uh, the second thing we need is the uh, signing secret, which is here. I can show you that because I will delete the app. So there you go. So now this is in here. Um, maybe interesting here with using this tool. This tool is uh, running your application instantly, so you don't have to run it with Node and then writing node app.js or something. I had to figure that out too, but um, you see here, uh, what was wrong here? Don't know. But here you see now the app is running um, and uh, it also installs by default the packages here uh, without any uh, setup or something. So, but also interesting in here um, you can see that there is no node modules in here but if you go here then you can find them and uh, check them out. So there's an integrated terminal where you can do that. Okay, so now let's go with these uh, subscribing to events and um, the, the thing here is that we now have to add to the Slack app um, this uh, request URL which is done uh, in here. So you enable that one and you get now within this tool you get the, the live app the URL and be careful because it's not this URL but uh, you have to add here slack ah, okay now it gets interesting this error I had before but let's see if this is solved if I edit so yeah you see now it's verified um, this one I failed a lot there was always this message with uh, this challenge thing here and um, yeah let's let's try to to see if this was related to reinstalling the app so so this is XAW, let's reinstall, is it changing? No, it's the same. Mm, I'm not sure, it, it changed here and uh, after this one changed I had some problems here with being verified. Ah, you see now, that's interesting. Let's do this again. This one hasn't changed. Ah. That's interesting. 
So let, let's check this again. Update here. Now it's off. Could could be because of this. Re ah, there you get this. This is the this is the message, the error message I received, and um, I think it was related to having to having the wrong. Um, the wrong uh, Slackbot token here because when I updated that it was solved so okay cool um, now in addition what you have to do here is um, you have to subscribe to events on behalf of users so go here and add an event called app home opened that's the event which is needed to get this home screen. Okay, let's save. So now, this is about how you um, create this or design this home screen. And basically, it's also, recommend, it's also written here, just copy paste this. to the app.js here and uh, yeah that's cool so now they say you have it let's see if that's true first of all I want to check again is is this running it's running yeah time is fine by the way, you don't have to save here. It's auto saves. It's a pretty cool tool. And uh, let's check if there is something in in Slack. There it is. You see, now there is this welcome screen with this click me button, which is doing nothing, but there is a welcome screen. So this worked out really well. And. Um, yeah, so feel free to try.